Mixtures contain different substances combined in varying proportions. The components of a mixture retain their properties and this can be made utilized to separate them. Even before we understand more about various separation techniques, let's try and make a mixture and try to separate them using the DSF stem separation of mixtures kit. So let's see what is in the kit. We have salt, rangoli powder, iron crush, colorful pebbles and urad dal and we also have a magnet and a sieve along with it we have different cups to help the process of separation i'm going to use a little bit of extra materials out here just so that the separation technique is more visible in here, there's a bottle, a plastic spoon, two trays, and water in a dispenser. Now, let us make a mixture using these materials. Let me start off with the colorful pebbles. Next, I'm going to add rangoli powder. Next, we have the cooking salt then let me add the urad dal next comes the iron crush let me mix it with a plastic spoon now that we have formed the mixture the question is which one do we separate first and what is the character that we are going to make use of to separate these components from one another. So what is the first thing that will strike when you look at this mixture? The color, right? So and also look at the size of these pebbles. They are way bigger than all the other materials. So what I'm going to do is first thing that I'm going to separate are these colorful pebbles. So let me try and separate these colorful pebbles first. So what do I separate next? I did add iron crush, right? And we are aware that iron is magnetic in nature, correct? Whereas the other substances are not. So whenever we are selecting a character, we need to make sure that the other components do not have the same character. As being magnetic is very unique to iron, I'm going to use a magnet to separate the iron crush. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc cover so that it's easier to separate later on. Here you can see the iron crush separated from the mixture. I'll do it one more time to be just thorough. What do I separate next? If we consider the size itself, you can see that the urad dal is bigger than the other components, right? But then, is it as easy as separating a colorful pebble? So using hand picking, I could separate the pebbles. But what about the urad dal? Now that I have gotten rid of iron crush, maybe I can use a seed to separate the urad dal. As you can see, the sieve is big enough for other components, whereas it is still small 
enough to hold on to the urattal now what do i have left i have salt and rangoli powder left right so what is the method to separate this one now for colorful pebbles i used hand picking for iron crush i used magnetic separation for urad dal i, I used sieving now for this what do i use is the next question so what is the property in which both these two materials vary in so as you can see it is very difficult to separate them based on their color or the size because both are similar in color and size right so the only possibility is yes the solubility you can see here when i add water which one would dissolve correct salt would dissolve right so after a minute if you look at it the rangoli powder would have settled in so this is called as the sedimentation technique wherein the heavier substances will settle down to form the sediment and we can directly take this supernatant into a different vessel or even better is the filtration technique let us try both let me try and take the supernatant in one and let me try to filter it in another vessel here we have the supernatant from the rangoli and salt water mixture here we have it after we filtered the rangoli and salt mixture so you can see the difference out here right you can see that the filtration technique is better than the sedimentation and decantation technique is it not so it also depends which separation technique you choose based on the result that you get and here is the rangoli powder settled on the filter paper so this can be dried and separated to get back the rangoli powder and now we are left with the salt water so how do we separate the salt from the water yes use evaporation technique wherein we'll boil it so that the water will evaporate to leave behind the salt and also have a look at the materials that we have separated from the mixture let us recap what we have learned till now we have learned how to make mixtures and we have learned how to identify the characters to separate different components from one another let us go through it quickly when it came to pebbles we looked at its color and size due to its appearance and large size they were easy to pick up hence we used hand picking then we looked at iron crush they appear different but are too small to pick but are magnetic in nature hence we used magnetic separation urad dal on the other hand are bigger than salt and white rangoli but cannot be picked hence using a sieve of proper size helps us to separate it easily and faster salt and white rangoli are both white and almost of the same size but white rangoli does not dissolve in water whereas salt does 
Hence, salt water can be decanted and then the white rangoli is dried. So, the method we used here is sedimenting the white rangoli and separating salt water or we could use filtration technique to separate it even faster. Then we were left with only salt. Salt dissolves in water and when the water evaporates, salt remains behind. Hence, the method used here is evaporation.